Hello everyone. In this video, I want to show you how to make a PXY diagram with a single species. Suppose we have n hexane in the system that exhibit both vapor and liquid phase. And our goal is to graph a PXY diagram to see if this system obeys Real's law. Before we get started, we should be able to visualize a PXY diagram that obeys Real's law looks something like this. It should be a closed loop with P as the y-axis and mole fraction either x or y as the x-axis. Now x represents the species mole fraction in liquid phase and y is the mole fraction for the vapor phase. P is the system pressure in this case in kilopascal. First, let's plot the px line one. Simply choose the p and x. Insert. Change the chart title. Right, and highlight the data point. See that data. Remember I said that I want the x value to be the mole fraction, but you can see that it's been highlighted it's as the pressure, which is not correct. So I'm going to change that to mole fraction. In this case, is the x, mole fraction in the liquid phase. And the y value is the pressure. Next, I'm going to plot the y diagram. Press the plus button here. It will be PY. And X value is the um, mole fraction in the vapor phase. Again, Y value is the system pressure. Now, OK. Now you can see that this is a closed loop, concave up, look like just what we predicted. Well, I noticed that I'm using the latest Excel version on my MacBook. For Windows user, it's the um, same approach. The menu just looks slightly different with the select data. We haven't done yet. We need to label the axis in this diagram. Somehow, the axis, the label disappear. Select the diagram, chart design, add chart element. Do the same thing to the Y. I don't know why it doesn't appear at the same time. You have to do one at a time. I also want to show this blue and orange, which is which. Highlight that, chart design, show legend, and I want to them to be shown at the bottom. Now, how to read this PXY diagram? Suppose we take a certain mole fraction, let's say take 0.4. When the system is at high pressure, it will exhibit as liquid phase. At the given mole fraction, the system starts to form bubble when you reach this VLE equilibrium region, which is the closed loop. This is a VLE region. It will start to form bubble. So this blue curve is also known as the bubble point pressure curve. We can change that. Double click. See that data again. Change the PX as the bubble point pressure curve. And the other way, PY will be our dew point pressure curve. So at this mole fraction, when the system pressures continue to decrease, it will reach this 
region as the vapor phase. This is because at a given mole fraction, when the vapor phase reached the VLE region, it will start to form droplet. So this is when the system condensed. So we call this as dew point. I hope this helped. If you have any question regarding to the graph with Excel, please leave me a comment below. Thank you for watching.